Uh, there are so many challenges that uh, we face as the school and uh, those that we face in learning the school. Some of them are uh, lack of uh, teaching and learning resources. We lack uh, teaching and learning resources like uh, textbook, textbook. Most of the learners do face problems of uh, uh, writing materials, talk of the pens as well as the exercise books, as well as also the textbooks that we use more especially whenever we are teaching, more especially in the senior sections. We are really running short of materials in terms of textbooks. We can have teachers guides, but learners books are not enough. And again, another big challenge. We don't have, uh, that's what we call the changing for girls at this school. We do encourage uh, our learners, mostly girls, to come to school every day, even though they are on menstruation period. But at our school, because of shortage of finance that we do receive, we have no changing room for girls. Therefore, during this period, most girls do not attend classes. They be at their homes. Teacher pupil ratio, very little teachers here as looking to them. So one teacher cannot manage 150 learners in a class. That is very impossible. <laughs> And we don't have enough teachers' houses. Our teachers are residing in, uh, in the villages that's uh, having renting there. Why? Because the small houses which we have here are not enough for the teachers. Our houses which we have here at the school does not have electricity. Whereby a teacher himself or herself needs to use electricity. They have for electricity, electrical equipment, which needs electricity. Therefore, they think of residing in the villages, renting there. As a result, they again give a burden to the school when coming here. They come very late due to the fact that they are living far from the school. And another challenge is that uh, we have uh, um, a sufficient number of uh, classrooms. Uh, this is a full primary school whereby we have uh, over 700 learners but you can see that we have only uh, three structures that make us to have only um, uh, six, uh, six classrooms. So meaning to say that we have uh, two classes that learn outside the class.